Welcome to a lunchtime conversation. What is the biggest animal you could kill with your bare hands? And here's the scenario. It's, it's hungry. It's trying to kill you. It's not a tame animal. What's the biggest thing you could fight? It's air, almost air self-defense. Fisted. Yeah. It's almost a self-defense. But it's just your, all you have is your body to fight it. It has all its primal natures trying to come get you. Do I have shoes on? Sure. Okay. But it's, but it's bare hand, no tools. Bare hands, no tools. I just didn't want to be naked. Oh, that'd be hard to fight something naked. Trying to bite your willy? Yeah. I mean, it'd be small as hell. It'd be sucked up. <laughs> You'd be so scared, scared that thing would shrivel yeah, up. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, whenever you're moving and you're, yeah. you're you know, doing sports or whatever, it's just, yep. it's just not in the way. <laughs> I honestly think. I'm like dog size. Yep. I'm, I'm a dog. And I'm not a wolf because a wolf is not dog size. What kind a wolf, of dog? I don't think I could do a pit bull. But I think I could do a Labrador. Like like a Rottweiler? Probably not. I don't think I could do a Rot... Maybe. A Golden Retriever? I th- yeah, I think I could kill a Golden Retriever. I don't... I don't know if I could do like a Pitbull, Rottweiler, Doberman. Those things, like, man, they're... What about like, it? Like what about if you're... Like 75, 80 pounds? Yeah. 90 pounds? That's when it's going to be really fucking hard. What about... You can do it. But... At the same time, they could fuck the shit out of you. Yes, we did. So we watched, or not we, we talked about this the other day, and I looked up, I think I could kill any bear besides a polar bear that was under one years old. Because at a one-year-old bear, they're, they they kind of grow like humans. They grow pretty slowly. But at a one-year-old, I think even a grizzly bear, they're only like 60, 70 pounds. Like, they're still pretty they small. They probably still have some big-ass claws. Dude, yeah, it would be, like, it'd be a fight to the death. But I might be able to take a one-year-old bear. I would want to challenge myself. I don't want to see if I could do it. Two year old bear though, dude, that's where it's getting like one, like 150, 200 pounds. You're not taking a bear. Like you're, and then you get a full size grizzly bear, a 900 pound beast that's just freaking. Oh, yeah. You have to have tools. You have to have, dude. That what about just... if you're, if you're hiking in the mountains with your kids or whatever, your girlfriend or whatever, and a giant, massive mountain lion comes up at you? No. Bear hands? You be- have no option. It's attacking. Bare hands, it would be tough as hell. It would be. It would you'd be have hard. to be using rocks. Like, there's no yep. way. You know, you'd have to be able to to fight it to the point where you can get a rock and bash its head in. So even so, there was a guy that strangled one to death, but it was a it was an adolescent cougar. It was not a full size cougar. Really? So like, it was attacking him, and he got to a point. I don't know if he had his knee on it or something, but like, he had his knee on it or his elbow on it or something. And like it, he killed it, but it was like, it was a small, like a one-year-old cougar. Like it wasn't a full blown, you have a full blown cougar attack, you dude. They're and you so don't have, fast. you don't have anything. Like the other thing I've heard is like, they will like, say they jump on the front of you, their back feet will claw your stomach open. So like, even though you're, you have its two paws here taken care of, and maybe you're like choking it or something, it's back feet will then start clawing you open. And so, like, you're there's. I don't think there's any way you could kill a cougar if it was like motivated to kill you. Even you're when done. You, when you grab a dog, you know, and you're trying to pick it up, it don't want to be picked up. Those those hind legs come up. Yeah, and they start true, kicking and true. they start getting. Crazy. Let alone a cougar that has retractable razor nice. sharp claw. Yes. Ooh, I got I got a bigger animal than a dog. I could kill a camel. No, I don't. I think don't know. You, I don't. I don't even think you could choke it. I could kill a camel. You couldn't. Dude. How? You're not going to knock it out. You'd break your fist on its skull. I just punch it in the throat until it collapses. It wouldn't, and it would be trampling. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen giraffes where actually they swing their heads a hundred miles an hour at each other and is just it 100? try? Hundred. Hundred and twenty. But you know what I mean? Like when giraffes will fight with their necks and it doesn't even like break their neck. That's and good point. And camels have a- those weird backwards knees, and they could just like trample you like yes. this both ways dude i don't think you that's could good, that's a good point like i like really when it comes to like the in the animal kingdom like they're dense like just yes. animals are dense yeah so you get an 80 pound animal well, that's 75 pound of muscle and like 10 pounds of bone yeah like they are freaking you know, in, in humans it's it's 100 it's 200 pounds of flab. We're blobs <laughs> yeah it's blob flab right with like, no like, claws no night vision no smelling vision yep. or sm- like good noses. Yep. The yeah. only no sharp reason teeth. we are where we are is because of the tools. Yep. Bare hands were fucked. Well, we're pack animals too. Like back in the day, you'd have to be with people. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, you know, two of us 
Oh yeah, we'll take can two of us take Cougar? Oh I yeah, I bet two of us could. Yeah. Yeah. I because I think about like that's where humans have always been like a a tribe mentality. Like you get you get five guys together, they could kill a grizzly bear easy. Dude. Well, you like, have to. One guy's bare behind hands. them with a sp- not bare hands, <laughs> but like yep. one guy's behind them with a spear, another guy's throwing a rock. Like you've watched, wolves will piss off big old grizzly bears because there's two wolves that are just like teasing it in front, and then there's three wolves. But and I don't think they'll kill it, but they also don't have tools. Now you give fifteen guys spears, they can kill whatever the hell they want. Oh, yeah. Think about like the mom in the middle of the woods back in the day who's given birth and she's screaming and the baby's screaming and the mountain lion's like, oh, I could get some easy food here. Oh. What you need is you need a pack of freaking crazy dudes with spears to protect yep. the mom and the baby. They're willing. Otherwise, to do, we aren't going to live. They're willing to do anything. So. And the dogs we trained to help us. <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah. Okay. What if you add a knife to that scenario? Ooh, I it think. It goes up significantly. Yeah. Like, I think you could kill a cougar pretty easy. The knife? Yeah, if you had a knife, like it, it, it would be not easy. Yes, I, you sorry, have like a, me... like a razor thin margin of success. You yes. don't get in the jugular. You, yeah, you fuck up a little bit, then you're dead. But also, if it fucks up a little bit, it's dead easy. You yeah, know what I mean, I can see that. But a knife, like, and that's the thing. Just that one little tool, just crazy how much it changes the odds. Because without it, all you have is like is bashing it to death with your with your fists. Or choking it. Or choking it. And, or and like hitting it. it on the ground. Yeah, yeah. And that's yep. it. There is no cutting. There is no piercing. There's no nothing. But most animals. Even are- biting it. You could not bite like the fur on animals. You couldn't bite oh, through yeah. that. The leather on an animal. Like yeah. a cow. You ain't getting through no. that. No. But you give you give me a knife. Like a, a decent sized knife. Like in that. And you're. I don't know how to fight with a knife. But that freaking cougar is getting close. And you're freaking like. Come on dude. Get get close to me. Like you could probably. It ch- it changes it dramatically. I don't know if I could kill an elephant with a knife. No, I think no. an elephant would an elephant would just stop. It would me. take a long time. Have you ever seen the video of the elephant and the rhino? There's a rhino that's no, like pissing so. off an elephant, and finally the sorry the rhino's pissing off the elephant. Finally, the elephant like chases it down, holds it down on the ground, and one of the tusks punctures the rhino in the side like you see it like press and press and then goes all the way into the guts isn't rhino hide super thick oh yeah and then when the elephant pulls it out blood's just like just like squirting everywhere and you're just like holy crap and then the rhino's just like and goes running (laughs) off and i'm just like that elephant just made it like and you could tell the elephant's just like leave me alone dude and finally just like pushes the ground pierces it then the rhino just runs off and i bet it died oh yeah and they're smart too, aren't they? Like super smart. Yeah, they have good memories. They like, and they protect their young. Yep. So they are all like, like super territorialistic with their or whatever with their their young. Yep, that's crazy. And that once, once you had a, once you had a tool in, I think our odds go up significantly. Once say, you had a spear, get a little distance, dude. Spears, I think, were the game changer. You can kill a, a grizzly with a with a spear. Yep. Like you alone, you know, obviously it's again, razor thin margins. You fuck up once you're done, but you keep it at Spears distance. You can, you can kill it. Did you know. ever see the edge? Yeah. The edge is good. Yeah. But that's, isn't two people or like, isn't it? It is. People? But I think the way he ends up killing it is just him with a spear. Cause like there's a, there's a picture of like the, the native American guy has got a spear. And what you do is you, you fend it off long enough for the grizzly bear to stand to up, up and get mad. And then you put the spear yeah. on the ground. And when it comes down, it impels itself. Cause you probably couldn't kill it with the spear, yep. but you'd use the bear's weight against the spear. And so like, I think that's how it ends is he eventually gets the spear down and then the bear comes down and falls on top of him. And- Dude, that's one of like the best movies that is older for like yep. that kind of stuff. Cause now they have like, what's that one with Liam Neeson and the wolves, the gray. Yeah. The gray. That's a good one, but it's dude. The edge is like, the edge was good. It's You've really never good. seen the edge. I don't think so. That one was good. Um, there was another, another bear one with Leonardo DiCaprio. That's what I was going to say is he even had a gun and a knife, but it was based on a true story I know. and he still couldn't kill the bear until he was pretty much dead. What was that one called? Um, shoot. That was, and it's a recent one too, but he gets mauled by a grizzly bear. And that's probably the best scene as far as like, I think that's what it, it was would like be a like. 10 minute attack. He gets like thrown and chucked and he's just trying to play dead and it's biting on his skull and it's just ripping him to shreds. And cause that, that is like the revenant. Think, yeah. The revenant that was, and then they thought, so they come back and they find them. The true story is they come back, they find them. They're like, 
dude, he's not going to make it. Like yeah. he's dead. Like even if we try to get him off, so we'll just leave him. And they leave him. And eventually he like crawls out of the pit and freaking finds a, a native American tribe. They help him get better. And then he gets back to civilization, but it's, that was a good movie. That was really good. It was an awesome movie. And he had a knife and he stabbed it a bunch. Oh, and yeah. he had a gun at first where he was like shooting it. Yep. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if you could fight a full blown grizzly with a knife. No, I don't think it'd make a knife. difference at all. Even a Sphere nine, even a nine millimeter handgun, you have to go like high caliber handguns with like grizzly bears. Yeah. Like it has to be some shoot him in the face. Yeah. Well, even I don't a think nine millimeter, care, like they, I think that's what they've said about grizzly bears is sometimes it won't puncture the skull. Like that's how thick their skull is. Like you might, like you would have to shoot it like five times. Like, and you think about this thing, it's running at you exactly, like this yeah. and the head's going like this and then it jumps on you and you get like five shots in it and it just hits its blubber. So then it seals up the wound so it doesn't bleed to death and it freaking just, just does whatever it wants. Yeah, that's the other crazy thing. How big are full grown grizzly bears? Like 900, a thousand pounds. How Size fast are they? They can run like 40 miles. miles an hour. Why are we 150 pound blobs and we're moving at seven miles an hour? What the hell? Is I run this? as fast as I can. I hit 10 miles an hour. Like, ha, ha, ha. ow, ow, ow. That's why we were tribes, man. We were not lone we, creatures. The but, fact but, that we exist But we could is run insane. the bear down. You, you know, mean like yeah. stamina wise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would run 30, 30 miles uh, or miles like don't get me wrong grizzlies can run for fucking a long time but we we could isn't that how they used to find it we'll catch it so there is there is a tribe there's a guy that wrote a book like about like barefoot running and he talks about how there was a tribe that would run animals to death isn't that how we used to like hunt gazelle or hunt like different things we would just out stamina them yeah we just just run them down and when we don't overheat you know so we would just run and run and they'd fucking take off and they'd get way down there but we're still coming. We're still coming. No, We're I'm, still coming. coming. I'm coming for you. It starts <laughs> eating grass that again. Movie where, where there's a ghost <laughs> that just keeps coming at all times. Like it never stops coming for you. Like you can go to the other side of the earth, whatever. And it'll still, still keep coming. Uh, uh-uh. you remember that one? Um, I think it's like, yeah, like it's, it's the ghost was like a metaphor for like a sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know. Right? But, but it just keeps coming until it kills you. Um, and then it transfers when you have sex. And then the ghost will then come after that other person. Oh. Um, but that was the, the the thing was it was always coming for you. Oh, that's a recent movie. Yeah. Uh, within the last like five, yeah, ten years. That's a good. I know what movie you're talking about. That's a good movie. But huh? it's very similar. You know, like you just, just keep get chasing. running. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We, we'll catch you. That's Eventually, a- you're going to get tired and you're going to have to stop. And we won't. Yep. You reminded me this totally different topic. There's a there's a thing I heard on the Internet. I think it was from a, a guy named Gavin Free. Um, I don't know if you've heard of him or not. It's in a couple of YouTube things that I watch, but he had said, if there was a snail that was always coming towards you and if it touched you, it killed you and no matter what it's coming. So I think that th- I think the thing he said was, I'll give you a million dollars, but the, the snails coming for you. And if it touches you, it kills you. So if you take the million, the snails always coming always like you would have to, you would have to always be like on a different continent. Yeah, I think you'd have and to. Then, how long would you stay there until you're like, is that snow getting close? I don't, Could you, you don't track it? Wait till you see it. Yeah. Could you track it? Find a way to track it. I don't know. You don't, you don't get to track uh, it or see so it. You, so once it's gone, like there's no way of knowing where it is. As but soon you as know it it's touches you, slow. you die. So I would, I think you could math it. I think you could go to the opposite side of the world and see how long it could take to get three quarters of the way there. And then you go to the other opposite and you just have to keep going back and forth. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's what I do. So would you take the million dollars then for that? That's not enough, though, to be doing that. Exactly. That's 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 why. Because if I said a billion dollars, of course you're going to do it. Oh, so that's the whole point. Is like, do is a million dollars enough to where you're going to be vigilant for your life for the rest of your life? Yeah, you send it to run for your life. Okay, see now that's interesting. I don't against something that's super slow and super small. It'll likely never get you if you stay vigilant. But you always you may fall asleep in the wrong day one time and it's coming. Right, right. So it accidentally went on a plane where it would be. But you're always running for your life. You can never just I mean, OK, for a period of time, you could be like, no, 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 we're good. We're good. As soon as you land on the other side of the world, you're like, yeah. I'm, I'm good for yeah, a you're like, It's got to cross an ocean. See, but I think you might be good. Like, how fast can I, I think uh, that's scary. But what if it what if it crawls onto a plane? Exactly. Oh, and then it lands and it. And then your math is just. Oh, broken. so is this an intelligent snail? 
you're doing it for your whole life. So maybe it's maybe not an intelligence. No, like it can't type on to like Uber eats to get on your (laughs) food, but like, but it can accidentally get on the ship, but it can actually, but also as soon as you see it, you're like, ah, fuck. What if you don't see it? We got about five minutes and I gotta, I gotta get out of (laughs) here. Yeah, well, if oh, you're it's sleeping. like over there and it's like coming this way. It's like, guys, yeah, podcast is over. I got to go. You're like, <laughs> you're partying, you black out drunk. And then it just crawls up on you. And you're done. Yeah, a million, maybe not enough. I would want more. A million. You do it for 10? Maybe. 100 million, maybe. I'd do it for 10 million. Yeah. I'd do it for 10. Nothing less. Because you I'd- can get a plane ticket across the world for like 800 bucks. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but then you got to stay there for a while. You got to stay there for a while because yeah. that's going to come for you. You just live two lives, one on one side of the world, one on the other. Yeah, 10 million would be enough. Unless it knew that my family's in this location. And it's like, and it's, like <laughs> it's just like, I'm just going to stay here. You'll come back. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like in your jacket that's hung up in the closet and you go to put it on and you're like, oh. but it, but I would assume that's always like beelining it. It is. Yes. It's always if trying it's always, to take the shortest line to you. If it's always just beelining it. Then I'm like, okay, that's easy because then you don't have to like check your pockets or anything. It's just always coming straight. But what if you forget where it was when you last saw it or you forget um, where it's even at because you can't track it? It would be kind of fun, though, because you could be like, okay, well, we're going to go to New York and we're going to be there for three weeks. And then we're going to go to Hawaii. So now it's going to head back that way. Now we're going to go to Tokyo. We're going to be there for a month. Yeah, months. It's only traveling like a quarter of a mile Snail's per hour. pace. Yeah, not yep. even. Yeah, but so, always. And I would dare say when it hits the ocean, like it doesn't really get much control. I'm doing it. I might even do it for less because once it hits the ocean, it's not crawling on the ocean floor. But it is. It's going a long ways <laughs> yeah. down there. It's swimming yeah. though. It's trying to get. It's to not you. swimming. Like, the currents are swimming. sitting here, and then it's swimming against yeah. the current. Easy. I did a hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just go to Hawaii. Yeah, just, I'm good. Just surround yourself with water. You're just like, you're good, dude. Yep. With really high currents. Or just That's birds. Funny. You just get some pet birds. <laughs> I'll have to send you guys the video so you can watch them talk about it, but it's hilarious. Nice. All right. That's all I got. Good stuff. Short little episode. Hope it was fun. Peace. Bye. Remember to check us out on our socials a lunchtime conversation, and a lunchtime convo. We'd love to hear back from you. Slide into those DMs.